what does no code really mean? Uh, is there a difference between low code and no code? Um, what is no code all about? We see that on social media all the time and customers see that and they wonder what that truly means. Yeah, that's a great question. It's a huge source of confusion in the market. And uh, I'd mentioned no code. I threw that out already when I was talking about bots. People often do say no code slash low code when they're talking about it. And uh, our friends at Forrester Research have said, you shouldn't lump those together. Uh, there is a common thread, which is that both are meant to be faster ways of speeding up custom application development rather than hiring developers to write a bunch of code. You can have people use a no code slash low code tool to do that development more quickly. But uh, they're really intended for different kinds of builders. So no code is what it sounds like. You can configure an air slate flow and a complex automation and fairly complex integrations without writing any code. It's all click on the bot you want, point and click uh, which Salesforce object you want to integrate to, point and click on drop down fields to map the Salesforce fields onto your document and so forth. So it's not low code, it's literally no code. Um, and so that's for business analysts or citizen developers who don't have formal IT or computer science training. In contrast, the low code tools are for developers. Um, so it is low code, so there is some amount of code involved. And the idea there is that you can make your existing developers more productive, which certainly has value. But if your problem is that you don't have any developers or you don't have nearly enough, uh, we think no code is a better approach for a lot of people.